I want to bring up that you wrote an amazing tune for my band, Bonegasm. Yeah. It's called Low Ball. And um, you were my big ask uh, for my album. And luckily for me, you were recovering from knee surgery, so you had the time to write for us. Right, yeah. But um, I <laughs> don't think I ever told you. When I started the band, um, I wanted it to become a vehicle for composers to rediscover the trombone. It seems like trombone's kind of the um, redheaded stepchild of the jazz community. <laughs> it's always the last instrument added to ensembles, unless the leader is a trombone player. Yeah. So I wanted to kind of run it like a classical ensemble and commission people to write for four trombones with rhythm section, put them in a box and see what they could do. I know you had written for, for the same type instruments before, cause you've written for the American saxophone quartet. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, can you talk a little bit about what it's like writing for the trombone specifically and uh, writing for, for the same instruments because it seems to be one of the harder things to do. It, it is, um, at least with the saxophones, a typical classical quartet is soprano, alto, tenor, and baritone. So you've got big differences in, you know, this note can be played on all four of those instruments, but on the soprano, it's way down at the bottom, and on the baritone, it's pretty high up on the top. So that the, the note, itself has a different character uh with each of the four saxophones with a trombone it's not so much that way there's you know differences in bore and 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 the bass trombone being more conical and all that there, there, there are differences but um what you don't have is the ability to double with something else that's not a trombone um so one thing that helps is if you know the individual players and you know being familiar with John especially and, and with you, at least I knew the top and the bottom, uh, I, I had an idea about what those sounds were gonna be like. Um, and it, it's, it, you just find that, you know, no matter what size group I've ever written for, there's, many times there's a point where you say, you know, I wish I had a blah, 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 because there's this one thing I want to do here that, you know, I mean, I've written stuff for a symphony orchestra a long time ago and thinking, I wish I could have three piccolos, you know, and they only had two. And so there's always some point where you're, you're wishing you had something other than what you had. Now with the trombone quartet, um, you, you end up, you just, you know, when that comes up, you have to say, well, sorry, it's not there. So you have to come up, you know, be creative with uh, a, a sense of orchestration. Uh, and that's a little more difficult when it's, especially three of the exact same instruments, pretty much and one of kind of a little lower version of the same instrument. So, um, but after a while, then you just say, you know, I just got to write this thing. So just shut up and write, you know, and I, and I don't really concern myself with, with it that, uh, that much, you know, there, because there aren't that many things you can do. You know, you can stick bucket newts on them. Uh, uh, or, you know, I mean, some kind of mute combination, but otherwise, um, you know, uh, I still try to, you know, think about certain things as being compact and th certain things spread out and, and certain, uh, you know, the, the density of what I'm doing, like two people tight here and two people tight down there or three over one or different combinations. Um, and one of the things I, I try to do is, is uh, you know, get more of a sense of independence of the lines uh, and uh, not write so much like a, uh, you know, like a trombone solely kind of style of writing. Uh, I try to keep it more independent. That's what I've noticed as I've come up through the years in various big bands. 
the individual writing for bass trombone specifically has gotten a lot more independent. And uh, I think my first experience with it was in junior college. I was playing Bob Mincer's tune in the 80s. It was the first time I really noticed it. It's been great for my instrument to get a chance to shine in a different way in the big band. Um, and many composers now have me playing more often with the bass or the baritone sax than with the trombone section. Well, I, I, I tell my arranging classes, for me, you, meaning you, Jen, you occupy two different roles in the band. Sometimes you're the fourth trombone. Sometimes you're the bass trombone. So if I'm doing little voice scenes like, that's fourth trombone stuff. If it's, uh, that's bass trombone stuff. Or even just, you know, you know, roots down below the section. So, um, and when I'm writing for uh, a big band, or even I, I guess when I was writing for Bonegasm, uh, you know, with you, I was thinking, okay, which which hat are you wearing here now? Are you the fourth trombone up in the section, or are you on your own down on the bottom? And I, I like to, I like to, uh, you know, move between one and the other. Was there anything that came easy? Or did you learn anything along the way? I mean, it's been two years since you wrote it, so. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I, uh, I remember there's, there's a melody. I was thinking of a sandwich. <laughs> I, forget, I forget the exact melody, but John and, and I think the third was in yeah. octaves. Yeah, and then, The other two voices were doing something inside the sandwich. Yeah. And I just I was just curious as to how that was gonna sound. And when I when I heard when you sent me the mix, I thought, oh, okay, that sounds good. I, I tried, I think, you know, several combinations because i i've written for the frankfurt band i've written a few things just you know 16 bars of trombone solely where I, I i do this also when i write saxophone solis i don't just keep it in uh, block harmony I, I try to think more linearly sometimes and so i've done that with the, the frankfurt band with the trombone section so i tried to take a little bit of what i've learned from them and apply it to bonegasm and then after after i wrote low ball i've tried to apply some of that to what i do for the frankfurt guides oh, that's you know. awesome yeah w would i do like the analogy of the sandwich so the next time we play your tune i'll have a new story to tell <laughs> so now you have to decide which uh, so you're the filler so you know which what are you going to be there meat okay <laughs>